A very very warm good morning ladies and gentlemen I'm Annie Miraj Kedvai here again with you how is everyone and how is everyone doing I hope you are liking and subscribing to my YouTube channel and I hope you are liking the content of the videos I'm uploading at YouTube uh, if there is any kind of questions queries or doubts you may contact me my contact details are available at the description box below uh, I hope you have watched the previous content of the videos that I have uploaded on YouTube. Basically, I would like to introduce myself again. I am a corporate trainer. I'm also a corporate trainer. I'm a language instructor for English and French, as well as I specializes in communication skills and employability skills. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I have previously uploaded uh, some uh, few tips and tricks and techniques on to improve your communication skills, b uh, basically for both in the corporate sector government sector if you are a school principal you are a college student or uh, you are a homemaker who would like to improve their communication skills as well so uh, there is a small topic I would uh, like to discuss uh, today with you I came across recently I was going with uh, a book and I was reading a book and I thought of doing a video from uh, quite some time I was quite busy my schedule was very busy so I couldn't do a video for you guys but uh, I uh, wanted to discuss discuss a small topic with you through this medium um, uh, which is very important to build our communication skills it is an acute uh, acute topic to talk about because it happens that people uh, forget to talk about this uh, while trainers uh, while teachers professors lecturers uh, they don't they, they somewhere forget to discuss this very important topic in business communications which is conflict management skills conflict management skill is a skill required in today's corporate sectors or any organizational patterns where uh, you are dealing with people with lots of people day in day in and day out be it an hr head you are a team leader you are a ceo of an organization you are a politician you are a school teacher you are a school principal or you are heading a particular department or any kind of a conflict probably in your day to day life as well you are a lawyer you are a doctor you are dealing with your patients or you are anybody you you eventually face conflicts on day-to-day -day basis right why conflicts happen first of all we need to understand a uh, communication skill on a very deeper note communication skill does not mean specifically I'm saying to the people who are in uh, you know college students who've enrolled themselves for MBA or certain programs uh, freshers that they focus uh, more that communication skill probably means about speaking in good English so communication skill is does uh, ha it does not have any relevance you know about speaking in good English or speaking fluently communication skill is something that you know how to handle a situation properly and how to deliver the best communication the best message at that situation that you would like to uh, you know deliver or how to give a proper negative or a positive or a constructive feedback to people right so uh, it we need to understand that communication skill does not mean that you are speaking in good uh, skill or you have good command over language see language learning is different and communication is different now it happens specifically I am saying this to people who are you know um, uh, new um, in the field of communications who have newly started their jobs who are freshers on any on any you know on any particular in any particular field uh, basically so conflict management skill conflicts happen what is a conflict basically conflict is a sort of a disagreement that you have with people around you you are into uh, a setting where there are people who are working on a single vision or mission or on a particular uh, project they're working there are different different people in a team you are as a team leader you are you're heading or leading a team right what happens with you there there are multiple peoples they have uh, multiple different experiences they're coming from different educational backgrounds they have their different uh, corporate corporate experiences probably they're coming uh, they could be you know uh, it could be a cross-cultural organization where people from different ethnicity belief systems etc coming from 
it happens that whatever implementations you would like to do or you know your processes or your systems of conducting things are different then they worked you know in an earlier setup so how would you come across when certain kind of disagreements would happen or disagreements could happen between two two team members two parties two distinctive distinctive organizations as well so how well, how well can we uh, you know handle certain certain things that we don't uh, get into certain kind of litigations we don't get into some some kind of legal hassles or legal obstacles for uh, you know our implementation to uh, to be pursued by us and by other people as well we need to give space to people to speak first of all it is very important to listen what i am observing in the organizations in the heads being into the corporate sector i am in, i'm a, i'm a corporate employee as well being into this kind of a field will uh, being into this kind of a sector i observe that somewhere our patience and our listening skills um, getting stretched out they are the people are into stress so we need to understand that we need to give space to people for their opinions for their perceptions it's not necessary that you know we need to give space to them to disagree with you we need to understand on a personal and professional both front that it happens that we we want to uh, implement certain kind of an uh, ideology a rule or a pattern of thinking into our workforce specifically disagreements would happen so we need to understand that we should give spaces to people to disagree with you and secondly because we have to work as a unit in our organization under the policy of the organization without being into any kind of a litigation or legal hassles and we need to make the team uh, to work on a single vision and mission not to get distracted from uh, that so how we can handle it first we need to understand what is a conflict what is a problem what is the root cause of the problem why it is happening so we need the uh, we need to give the space to let the other person speak their mind it is it is uh, but obvious that when you are working in a team with different ethnicities with different belief systems with different educational backgrounds with different uh, work experiences of people disagreements may happen right understand the point of view what the other person would like to communicate and why it is happening sometimes it is ethical and sometimes it is not ethical sometimes it happens that people working in your team may have personality disorders people uh, are bound to disagree whatever you would would like to say so we need to understand the behavior pattern of the person and then we need to understand is it relevant to the point what i am saying we need to uh, understand ourselves that whatever feedback the negative or a constructive feedback i am receiving from uh, the other party is it worth uh, relevant to what i am trying to say and if not then politely convince the person always go with the written expression try to document everything right if it is a conflict it is a problem ask the other party to be uh, uh, you know uh, to put it in a written written uh, way uh, with a written communication reply it in the written communication make notes right and then understand the issue what is the issue then try to come with a face to face interaction so analyzing the problem is important for that analytical skills should be very sharp the person who is dealing the conflict that person's analytical skills should be sharp analyze and observe the problem okay then make notes about the problem write it down write it down um as many times as you can okay try to convince the party within face to face interaction then after when the written communication has taken place also document the issue basically uh, this uh, th th these kind of things are faced by the hrs the hr heads a lot right because they're dealing with lots of employees of the organization day in and out with different different problems with different different conflicts so what you can do documentation is very important right the right and ethical documentation for a good organizational policy should be uh, maintained uh, between you and the other party as well the transparency and the genuinity in the conversation should take place right analyze the problem have a face to face interaction with the other person and if 
do you, if you feel that the other person it's not necessary that being a head or being a team leader you are always right it you know disagreements happen because probably probably there might be uh, uh you know a, a, a probability that the other person is right so uh, if the other person is right and it can bring it is good uh, it is in good faith of the organization and of the team and of the project you are going through try to implement in the process be compromising okay be open to compromise in the nature right and if it is not working in that way if the if the uh, the conflict or the disagreements that is coming forward if uh, it's not worth in the favor of the organization and the organizational policy right be honest and be genuine about it and try to convince the other person why you want to make this thing come forward why you want to put this uh, process into implementation and for for the betterment of the system so try to convince them okay with a polite tone with a soft tone document each and every communic uh, each and every conversation you're having excuse me document each and every uh, conversation you're having with the other person and try uh to take feedback from all the team members right feedback is important be very genuine and approachable okay um um sometimes uh you know um, uh, it happens that when we are in a team and uh, when there is somebody with some new ideology has come forward it doesn't match uh, or other team members might not able to understand so voting uh on the feedback of the person of the conflict is not only the parameter or the strategy to resolve the conflict right um we need to understand that whatever the person is saying will, will it bring a good change in the organization also will it uh, bring um, you know a positive uh, positive change is it is is, is it um, the problem which, which is arising can be rectified and if there is a problem there is some error in the system can it be rectified with a new uh, strategical mind so try to analyze it with good observational skills be genuine in your communication have face to face interaction be very professional in your communication no need to be very emotional uh, or bring your past uh, work experience in between the conversation be very professional be to the point avoid any kind of hassles or litigations that can be filed with the other person right and then try to convince the other person and give them space to speak their mind as well being the part of the organization and being the part of the team you can have good strategies uh, be pre-planned of the conflicts that may come across before you are going to implement a system and uh, be pre-planned about the um uh, conflict resolution um uh, strategies on hand you know if this thing i would say this may uh, occur or this problem can occur so how would i make it uh you know resolved so be pre planned about the strategies okay be very uh, uh be written in your uh, r- communications with your team members or the person or the other party right i hope uh, you are um, able to resolve any sort of conflicts with g- good communication skills in the future and if there is any kind of help you require you may always contact me keep following and subscribing my youtube channel i will keep on uploading some good uh, tips and tricks and techniques and good discussions uh, on youtube uh, i would like to make uh, this channel uh, more uh, more of a open forum to discuss any good topics if uh, you would like to discuss anything with me please leave uh, in the comment section below i will sure try to work on it and uh, upload something good and relevant about it thank you so much and thank you uh, for watching the video and giving me your time have a good day